you made it here okay. Not sure if okay is the right word, but yeah, I made it. Now, tell me how to get to City Hall. Union was built with a sort of backstage area, so Mobius operatives could observe the test subjects in secret. Most of these passageways are still intact enough to bypass the fissures in Union. But chunks of the city are floating in the air. How are their tunnels? They're passageways, not tunnels. When you go in and out of them, you're basically phase shifting. We call it the marrow. It exists in a layer separate from what you see. That doesn't make any sense. Fortunately for you, it doesn't have to make sense. It just has to work. But it's a maze down there. You take the wrong path, you could end up on the other side of town. Where's this marrow that gets me to City Hall? And who comes up with these ridiculous names? I'll mark the location of the port. It's in the North Safe House. Looks like a regular computer, but it's not. I'll give you the password you need to activate it. Once you're inside, follow the marker to exit B2. That should take you straight to City Hall. You could have told me this on my communicator, you know. Maybe so, but I couldn't have given you this. The passageways are still intact, but the collapse of Union has caused infrastructure issues. My communicator says that the gas leak is blocking the path to exit B2. You'd never make it through alive without this. Deadly gas leaks, huh? <laughs> Thanks for saving the worst for last, O'Neill. Based on what we've seen so far, I doubt that it's the worst you'll encounter. You're not helping. Anything else you need to know before you go? By the way... How did you know that this signal was coming from the guy I mentioned? My communicator went crazy when you tried to call earlier. Something was interfering with it, a frequency I'd never seen before. And it was coming from the warehouse that you were just in. Right before you called, the signal disappeared. And then BAM! It was at City Hall. When you said this guy was powerful and that you lost him, well, it stood to reason that he was the source of the signal. What kind of powers are we talking about here? He summoned some of those things, like he was controlling them. Then he just teleported away. Reminds me of the last time I was in STEM. But everyone in Union was tested before they were placed in STEM. There's no way they'd let a psycho in here. Well, I'm here. They didn't test me. But you're not a psychopath. Right? Why do you think he chose to camp out at City Hall? It's probably got something to do with the stable field emitter we set up there. Damn it. What's a stable field emitter? It's a machine that temporarily stabilizes an area of STEM environment if it starts to break up. It's not nearly as powerful or effective as a core, so we only use them for emergencies. It doesn't seem like it's working. Yeah. Uh, we sent Harrison and a security team to set it up when we arrived. I hope they're okay. Maybe you should come with me. If I can find Lily, we can get out of here together. No way. I'm not leaving a safe room unless it's to get out of Union entirely or someone forces me out. And who the hell is this Lily you keep mentioning? Lily is my daughter. She's the core. <sighs> no wonder you're so determined to find her. I could really use your help. I'll help you from in here when I can, but I'm not going out there. She's just a little girl. I know, but appealing to my better nature isn't a good way to convince me of something. Sorry, I'm just not built that way. Yeah, I've noticed. the edge off.
Sounds like someone's in trouble. Oh my god! No! Those things will kill her if I don't do something. It's okay, I took care of them. Please open the door. I need to ask you a few questions. Thank you. You saved me. I thought I was a goner for sure. It's okay. Calm down. What's going on out there? How am I supposed to know? If anybody should be asking what's going on, it's me. Look, I just got here. I'm even more confused than you are. Oh, yeah? What's your name? It's Sebastian. Sebastian Castellanos. Well, then you're not as confused as I am. I can't even remember my own name. I don't know what day it is. I don't even know where I am. God, what's happening to me? Just try to remember anything you can. One minute, I was in that office being interviewed by that Asian doctor lady. The next thing I know, I'm in this town I've never been to, wearing clothes I've never seen, and there's this guy who says he's my husband telling me to run. I'm not married, mister. None of this is real. It can't be. Let me ask you something. I'm looking for my daughter. She's six years old. Her name is Lily. I... I haven't seen any kids out there. Nothing but those things. Damn it. Six years old? Oh, I'm sorry, mister. Poor thing. Being lost out there. I wish I could help you. Me too. But I'm not giving up until I find her. So you just woke up here a few hours ago? Hours? Days? I can't figure time. The last thing I remember was being in that office, like I said. What office? I needed some money, so I answered an ad looking for people to be in a sleep study. They took my blood and gave me a physical, and then that Asian lady asked me weird questions all day, and I don't understand what's happening. Does the name Mobius mean anything to you? I don't think so, but I can't remember much of anything. What can you tell me about those things out there? I don't know. All I know is that they'll kill you if they get the chance. You should stay away from them. Any idea where they came from? That guy who said he was my husband started acting all weird. Kept looking over his shoulder at something I couldn't see. Then all of a sudden, he's screaming and starts to change. Skin bubbling up. It was horrible. The next thing I knew, he was trying to kill me too. So they used to be regular citizens. What's causing them to change like this? I don't know anything. I... I can't help you, mister. I'm gonna try to figure this out. Stay in here and keep the doors locked. It's not safe out there. I'm not going anywhere, that's for sure. But thanks for saving me. You need anything from the house? Go ahead and help yourself. Let me ask you something. I wish I could do more for her, but finding Lily is the best thing for everyone here.
File number 15. Interview with Detective Sebastian. Probably should let Kidman know what's going on. Kidman, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What have you got for me? The good news is that I located O'Neill, and he was able to get me on the trail to find Lily. That's great. The bad news is that Union is literally falling apart around me, and it's mostly populated by corpses and monsters. Oh, and that cycle I told you about? The one with the powers he shouldn't have? He's got Lily. I'm getting ready to head into the Marrow, which you neglected to tell me about, to get to him. I'm sorry we didn't have time for our briefing before sending you in, but we didn't think it would be this bad. It's just as bad as Beacon in here. No, it's worse. My daughter wasn't stuck in Beacon. Okay, calm down. Maybe I can help you out. Can you give me any information on this person? Male, about five foot ten, black hair. He fancies himself as some sort of artist. That's not much to go on. Tell me something I don't know. I'm on my way to City Hall. I'll call you later. before. What the hell is this? It's a chance to test your skills. Step right up and try your luck, detective. This is insane. You'd be insane to pass this up. Steady your hand and put your shooting skills to work. No need to worry about ammunition in here. That's perfect. You may very well be the best, detective. That's perfect. You may very well be the best, detective.
Your efforts are admirable, but your results are less so. I see you're in need of my services again. Back again, I see. And in need of some improvements. You're getting closer to what you seek. I feel it. My daughter. She's somewhere inside this place. Yes. And you're determined. I can sense a change in you. Let's change you further. Give you the tools you need to find her. <laughs> 